And like I said to you before, the kids of today, you know, they've got it easy. They've got and everything that they want, these children. And, and go, I can't even begin to imagine doing what they do. I'd be too scared, you know what I mean? The things yeah, that they get right. away with. You know, I remember telling my father, I wanted a colour TV. He smacks me in the head. He goes, now you'll see colour. You know what I mean? <laughs> imagine the Botox. I'm going to get a Botox on my lips. He smacks me. He goes, now they get a big. No what? You know, and because we, we, we copped some beatings when we were growing up, didn't we? We copped some beatings. Because like, the Aussies, the Aussies, I don't know what you guys did when you guys got in trouble, but, you know, like, it, it was very different, wasn't it? You know, for start, because you guys used to get grounded. Oh. Uh, if you're a wog and you get grounded, you are buried. Uh, they had the naughty chair, didn't they? Oh. No, we had that too, but it got broken over our head. That's the only thing. The Aussies have got a new concept now. They call it timeout. They put their children in timeout. Uh, we invented timeout. I remember my old man smacked me so hard I was knocked out on the floor. But we called it blackout. Blackout. You can't win with it, even with the wog mums, you know what I mean? The wog mums, they're clean freaks, aren't they? My mum, you know, she cleans the, the, the dishes before she puts them in the dishwasher so she doesn't dirty the dishwasher. <laughs> she gets it from my grandmother. My grandma, not as a clean... I mean, you, know, you know how now the government subsidises the cleaners and they send them to the wogs, you know, they all, you know to clean up. That, what does your grandmother do? They clean the house before the cleaner comes. <laughs> because if the cleaner comes and the house all dirty, oh my God. <laughs> You know, and my mum was an expert on pig style. She'd walk in my room, not even the pigs could live in here. <laughs> I love it when they say, clean up your room, it looks like a brothel. <laughs> How the hell do they know? <laughs> my mum would ask me questions she didn't want an answer for. Who would make all this mess? Ah, it wasn't, wasn't me, I don't care. Just hurry up and shut up and clean it. <laughs> and have you ever had to tell your mother you are not coming home? That's the worst. That's the word. That's the only time I wish my father would answer the phone, right? You know, you're ringing up and you go, Dad, please answer, Dad, please answer. And you hear, hello. <laughs> Hi, Ma, where are you? <laughs> hurry up, I kill you. Where are you? <laughs> oh, I'm, I, hurry up, I kill you. Come home now and bring the car back home. <laughs> it's three o'clock. Where does she need to go? And then she jerries, you know, she figures out I'm not, I'm with a girl. She goes, oh, oh yeah, where are you? I said, I'm just at a friend's house. Oh, yeah. What's the call of this, a friend? <laughs> it's a girl, huh? And a girl, and a butter, and a And the girl can hear by this stage, because she's yelling, and I go, what did, you, what did your mum want? <laughs> Don't worry, she uh, just had to say hello. And so, 